Plus, he left Ukraine with a backpack and his bassoon. Now a teen who fled the war is set to make his debut at Carnegie Hall this weekend. He joins us with his incredible story and his music later this hour. Well, the war, as we know, has forever changed the lives of millions of Ukrainians. You're about to meet a 15-year-old who is one of them. He left the city of Dnipro in February with just his backpack and his bassoon. Dmitry Tishin, who goes by Dima, waited in the packed crowds of evacuees. Eventually, he would take a 24-hour train ride to Poland. Then it was on to Berlin and after months to the United States. This weekend, he will make his New York City debut at Carnegie Hall. Dima is here with me now, along with Shauna Quill, who's the executive director of the New York Youth Symphony. It's great to have you both in the studio. Dima, this is a really big weekend for you. It is. Um, how do you feel about playing on that famous stage? Um, I'm really excited because um, New York Youth Symphony is definitely the best orchestra I've ever played in, and uh, it's just going to be great. Yeah. You'll also be, this is not your dad's bassoon, but that's getting a little, a little work, I understand mm -hmm. it. But you will be playing his instrument on Sunday. I hope so, yeah. Yeah. That, that must mean a lot that you have that instrument with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your family is in Ukraine. You yep. have an older brother who couldn't leave because of his age. I know your mom was here with you for a little bit, um, but she's back in Ukraine. Yeah. You talk to them a lot. I try to call them or text at least uh, every day, but um, the time difference is pretty big, so it's sometimes it's hard to do. Yeah. But they wanted you to be here because it's safer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Are you glad that you're here? I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. How is your family doing in Ukraine? Um, well, it's definitely not safe there because um, there are rockets and uh, drones flying around Dnipro like every day. And yesterday, my mom found uh, rocket fragments on my grandma's garden. So it's, yeah, but they're trying to stay positive. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. Sounds like you are too. They must be. They must be very proud of you. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Shauna, I'm guessing they might oh, be. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. How could they not be? And you know, Dima's is here with a lovely family. Um, who their children were in New York Youth Symphony um, a few years ago. So now I, I just, I'm thrilled that he's part of this new family mm -hmm. of New York Youth Symphony. Uh, he said this is the, the best orchestra he's ever played with. What has it been like for for the other kids? Who are part of the orchestra also to have Dima join them. Right. I mean that adds a whole new level of, of conversation and experience for them. It does. I think at first you know we go away on a kickoff retreat to Long Island and they were a little tentative you know and his English even has gotten better since he began um, and now of course he's in school so but I think they were curious but I think you know the conversations have been wonderful and they're very welcoming. We actually have a lot of international students because mm -hmm. sometimes people come here for, for college and play with us. Yeah. So it's a, but when they're together, it's one ensemble. And and it, 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 we talk about this a lot, but music is such an incredible universal language exactly. and it can bring people together in such a beautiful way. And you must be seeing that on a daily basis. Yes, I am so inspired by them. They really do come together as one ensemble and the sound they create together, the music they make together, it's magical. So when they go to Carnegie Hall and play, it's just like you can't imagine, yeah. you know, and you just close your eyes, they're amazing. You're a mom, so I imagine yeah. you're, you're feeling some of these, these moments as you look at Dima and you know what it's like for your child to have that moment yes. and how difficult to not be there. But I know you're going to make some of this available yes. to Dima's family. Yes, we're making videos so that we can send. We, we couldn't do the live stream, yeah. but we're, we're making sure that they're part of the moment. Great. And I know you, um, you've agreed to play a little something for us, which is why you, you're ready to go so that we can um, have you hook up there. And what are you mm -hmm. going to play? I'm going to play just a little bit of Sonata Marcello. Okay. And this is one of your favorite pieces? It's probably not, but, but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're going to play it really well, that I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to be, go ahead. Yeah, if you want to mm -hmm. start suiting up, it's, um, it's going to be quite a big, quite a big weekend. Yes. Um, yeah. So we're excited that, I'm excited for all of you and that you were able to share this with us and 
excited that your parents back home will get to see some of it too. And we'll have you play us out. Dima and Shauna, thank you. Thank you.